the focus of this presentation is to let you understand the theorem the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplemental and it has converse. The abbreviation is this. Let us note that in Euclidean geometry, a cyclic quadrilateral or inscribed quadrilateral A, B, C, D in this diagram means all its vertices lie on a single circle and the vertices are said to be concyclic. So A, B, C, D are concyclic because they lie on the circumference. The circle is called the circumcircle or circumscribed circle. And the center of the circle and its radius are called the circumcenter and the circumradius respectively. Let us understand the theorem writing it in if then form. If a quadrilateral is cyclic, then its opposite angles are supplemental. In a diagram, here is a cyclic quadrilateral. Then we are saying um, angle alpha plus beta is equals to 180, or angle B plus angle D is equals to 180. That means they are supplemental. And the given and the required to proof gives you the hypothesis and the conclusion respectively. But the word or means when you demonstrate or prove, you choose any one of the two. So we want now to demonstrate the theorem. The thinking pattern is start with an end in mind. This is the diagram that we are given. So first, the think in terms of the end. Where we want to arrive at is alpha plus beta is equals to 180. That is where we want to arrive. So the transitive property or substitution property is often useful in this type of a proof examples. Transitive property of equality. If A is equals to B and B is equals to C, then A is equals to C. You see that B is related to A, the same B is related to C. Therefore, A is related to C. Substitution property. If A is equals to B, then A may be replaced by B in any equation or expression or vice versa. So to prove that alpha plus beta is equals to 180, one has to try to come up with equations that contain A and B. Why equations? Because this is an equality. Equality, we use an equal sign coming up with an equation. This is why we think in terms of coming up with equations. So this will then lead to the application of either the transitive property of equality or substitution property. Secondly, think in terms of the start, what we are given, the facts that come with the problem to solve. What theorems or properties can you deduce from the given? You create a problem, draw two ready from points B and D. Here is what we are given. So we are going now to draw um, ready OB and OD, right? As you can see, the green line represents the ready. Then from there, we think of how could we relate now the alpha and beta once we have done this? Then we think of the theorem angle at center and one at circumference. So in such a case, again, you would realize that y and x complete the angle at a point. So we are going to use again that knowledge to come up with the equations. So we are saying use angles around a point center O and angle at center equal twice angle at circumference. This will lead to the formation of equations that contain beta and theta. So now here we carry out the proof. To start with, if we add x plus y, that is the blue and the red, it's a complete circle. So it's angles around a point. It is equals to 360. Then from there, we realize that but this x is related to beta. 
it is twice bitter because angle at center twice its circumference. The same can be said to y, right? It is related to this one. That means y is equals twice alpha. Now, we then substitute, that is now substitution property, the x and y substitute in equation one. You get two um, alpha plus two beta, which is this, which is equals to 360. Then you divide both sides by two. You end up with the alpha plus beta is equals to 180. The proof is complete. Key takeaways from this presentation. Use some angles around a point and the theorem angle at center equals to twice the angle at circumference to prove that alpha plus beta, right, is equals to 180. You create the problem as shown. This is what you are given, but then you then create yourself to arrive to the end. I hope you get it right. I thank you.